looking into COVID-19 second wave, how can we survive the second wave of COVID-19? It's no wonder that people are asking what the second wave is, what trigger it, and will the same COVID precautionary measures we adopted throughout last year suffice? What is the second wave and what caused it? India recorded the first cases of COVID-19 in March 2020, and then on until September of 2020, COVID cases continue increasing. After September, fever cases began to be reported, and the first wave of COVID officially began to decline. By the beginning of the year 2021, only a handful of cases were reported in India, and normalcy was almost restored. However, from February 2021 onwards, cases began to rise exponentially, and in one month, we recorded as many cases as in six months of 2020. This is the second wave. Why? Because this is the second time that COVID cases are on the rise in India. What is the second wave and what caused it looking into this cause? What exactly caused? The second wave is unknown. However, this second wave could have been triggered by a few new strains of the coronavirus, including the UK virus, the South Africa virus, and the double mutant. These mutants of coronavirus are very infectious and have a high R value. The number of people who can be infected from one person. Two other reasons why the second wave has spread like wildfire at present are people's apathy towards COVID-19 precautions like not wearing masks, not washing hands, not using sanitizers, and large-scale congregations, especially during the election season and for the certain ceremonies held in India. Why is the second wave so concerning? The second coronavirus wave is of concern because this new mutant, SARS-CoV, is very contagious and has learned to dodge our antibodies. Even the 18 to 45 age group, who supposedly has strong immunity, is susceptible. This group has been classified as the COVID-19 super spreader. They are the ones who have to put out, who have to be out in the public the most. And once they come home with the infection, they rapidly spread it to others in the house, the apartment, building, or housing society. This new COVID-19 strain is also infecting children. Are the symptoms of the second wave COVID infection the same? Even though the new strains of COVID are accompanied by new symptoms, that does not mean the old symptoms are no longer seen. COVID positive people may still have a fever, body age, loss of smell, loss of taste, soreness or dryness in the throat, runny nose and cough. This time, However, solitary symptoms may confuse people. For example, uh, some, someone with diarrhea may attribute it to a stomach infection, but it is also now a symptom of COVID. New COVID-19 symptoms, loose motion, conjunctivity, vomiting, fatigue, body age, headache, and vomiting. How to keep ourselves safe from the new COVID-19 wave? The new double mutated coronavirus to spread through droplets from infected persons or through contact with contaminated surfaces. That is why the same precautions as before will help you now. Since this virus spreads through contact and is very contagious, you should only go out when necessary. Stay home at least for the next four weeks, which are very critical.
people who have to go out for work need to wear a N95 max and a surgical max over it. Stay max the whole time you are outside. If the double max seems too suffocating, wear N95 max and a face shield. If you are traveling by a cave, turn the AC off and wind the windows down to allow air circulation. The driver must wear a mask. And about lift, elevator of lift. Use the lift only when you have to leave. You have to, like when you have to reach the top floor or a multi rise, or you are physically not in a state to take the stairs. Leaves can easily spread COVID if an infected person uses them. So wear a mask inside the leaf and do not talk to anyone else sharing the leaf with you. Another precautionary measures wear a double mask even if you are going out to your neighborhood grocery store. Sanitize your hands when you touch the height contact surface or any object outside your home. Wash your clothes and disinfect anything you were wearing or carrying when you went out. Go out only when absolutely necessary. Educate children because the new COVID-19 infects children. Get vaccinated as soon as you can. The COVID vaccine reduces the chances of getting infected and even if you do, the infection will not be very serious. If you notice anyone in your family or yourself showing the symptoms of COVID-19, practice home isolation and book a COVID test right away. Contact your doctor even before the report arrives. Observe the COVID-19 protocol at all times. So friends, stay home, be safe, because life is precious.